the fair winds blow Our home is where the waters flow We'll show you what we've come to know On board while sailing wisdom So now that we have successfully made it into Water Lemon Key, we are going to go snorkeling because this is famed as the best snorkeling on all of St. John. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away? Show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. Sky sometimes hides behind the clouds. Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. So this is bleaching. It's what happens when the pH gets too acidic in the water and the water temperatures are too high. The coral actually spits out the little bit of algae that it has in it and then it loses its ability to capture sunlight and photosynthesize. And then it dies. It's bad. Thankfully, most of the coral we've seen here is in really good health, but we've seen a couple brain corals with some bleaching going on. How come the trees get undressed when it's cold? And don't they miss the leaves they left behind? Could it be to make the ground shine like cold until winter comes? Until winter comes? Until winter comes? Makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. It really makes me wonder. Oh, I wonder. our previous mooring in Francis Bay for a few reasons. The main reason being that we don't have any internet here. We really want to be able to track our statistics for YouTube. So we're moving back to Francis Bay. It's going to be a nice easy sail back and this time I'm going to help out. If you just untie us from the ball I'll get us off and then you can raise the sail. I can't wait to get that shower. My hair feels like it's made out of coral. So this means that we will arrive at 5.30, roughly, more or less, and sunset is at 6, so it's just before sunset. So uh, a little close, I don't like doing this stuff in the dark, but we should be just okay. Woo! Feels very good to be showered. <laughs> Well, we have 1.2 knots of current pushing us, so we're doing 4 knots to the water, actually 5.3 over ground, so we're booking it. We should get there a half hour before sunset. Charlie's falling asleep. Yes, Charlie is adorable. <laughs>
this has just been so awesome. So we're so used to, you leave somewhere, you don't get anywhere for days. Like you're at least gonna spend the night at sea. And now like we, we were here in the morning and then we decided, hey, let's go over to that other place cause it's awesome. We went there, we snorkeled, we had a great time. We're like, hey, let's go back. It's like, yeah, sure, come right back. And we're here and it's all in one day. So at the end of the day, we've had an awesome time. We're gonna have an awesome meal because we're gonna be making some steaks soon. And the, the most important part is we will sleep in a still area at anchor or on a mooring. Like it's, it's so peaceful and easy. I just, oh, this is awesome. This really is heaven. If you can only go sailing in like one place for a limited amount of time, Virgin Islands. You have good internet right here? LTE. All right, we got a ball right there. Oh yeah. Try and grab it. Yay! You know those projects that you're going to do someday? Well, today is someday for me. Our motors region has not been working like it used to. So it was working all the way up until I switched out that one motor in Spain. And since then it hasn't worked. So my thought is maybe something with the wiring to that motor doesn't want to do regen. So I'm going to just open up the electric motor wiring system jigamaro and just switch the wires around literally just invert the thing and then see if it works i think it'll work and the reason i'm doing this today and that today is someday is because tomorrow we're sailing to saint thomas and that's eh, about 12 miles or so nice downwind sail be nice and quick and if regen is working we'll be making a lot of power that is leaking it's a nice rain so is this tighten them up <laughs> okay so pretty much you have these dust covers that you know keep it all under wraps so no one can see it and then you have a little itty bitty control thingy here which has some wires that go to these two boxes and then each box then has wires that run to a single motor so this is the motor that we just replaced a couple months ago so not really just about 5,000 miles ago so it's actually not so new anyway <laughs> This motor has wires that come from this controller. The other motor on the other side, which is under this, has wires from this controller. So I'm just gonna switch these main plug wires that are attached somehow in here, and I don't remember how because it's been a while. Oh, there we are, just a little clip. Okay, so we'll just take these main wires and run them over to this side and then take the same plug from the other guy just bring it back over here okay so the plug has a little ground a little wire that runs to the ground on the sevcon box so i'm just going to move this over to here and then bring this multi-plug with its ground wire over to the other side so that's pretty much just going to flip the motor in the view of the little tiny control module here so the motor is going to run backwards, so I need to reprogram it that way it runs so that forward on the thrust lever means forward for the boat. But hopefully that would also move the primary motor from whichever one is the primary one to the other one. So since it's not working right now, I'm assuming that this might just be motor one and the regen isn't going. So I'm hoping that by making this motor two, it might work. Okay, so I got the motor switched around and it works, it spins. I don't know if regen works though, though. that's the uh, little issue. But tomorrow we're going to be sailing to St. Thomas. It's going to be a lot of downwind sailing, which is a lot of fast sailing. And we'll see if we get enough speed to make the prop turn and maybe make some amps out of the system. We're going to St. Thomas. But first we got to fill up our water tanks because we are low. So we're going to stop at Cruise Bay as our first stop. And then we're going to head over to Cow Pet Bay in St. Thomas. Now this is where a lot of people say, oh, if you had a water maker, you wouldn't have to stop and go get water. But water makers are a lot of expense, a lot of maintenance, and a lot of work. And how hard is it really to just pull into a fuel dock once every few months to get water? Not hard. 
we're going four and a half knots to the water, which is kind of the minimum speed that we can start making any power, not appreciable power, just any power. And I turned on regen and it doesn't say we're making power, but the motor's voltage went up, which is what it does when it makes power. So I don't know if it's something funky with the instrument display or what, but it looks like we're making power. So when I turned it on, we had 48.68 volts. We're gonna go for a bit of a run here. We're doing some good speed and we'll see what it says we are up to when we get there. No solar panel, this is just regen. Okay, this hasn't really been the best test for the regen because it was really short and we didn't really go that fast, but the battery voltage is up to 48.76. So it is 0 0.08 volts higher than when we started and it's gone from 60 to 62%. So. It's working, just we didn't really do a situation that would have shown if it worked. On a personal note, one thing that's been really nice for me about these day sales in the Caribbean is that I haven't gotten seasick once. The water is just really calm and if the weather picks up, just fall, come into a bay or something, but that hasn't had to happen yet. Honestly, it's been a joy because I get all the fun of the sailing without any of the puking. I think your phone is ringing. Do you want me to get it? Yeah. All right, goodbye for now, St. John. We're headed to St. Thomas for the first time ever. I'm very excited. I think Herbie's been there, but I have not. And we are full sail, looking about 40 minutes. All right, we're doing four and a half to five knots. So this is really good. And we got the regen on, so hopefully we'll make a little bit of power on the way there. So here's the issue with regen. It sounds great, like, hey, you can make six amps. Ooh, cool. That's six amps every hour. So if you're gonna sail for 10 minutes, that's no power, that's not appreciable. When you're out in the ocean and you're, you know, 24 hours a day doing those speeds and making that kind of power, then it really adds up. <laughs> There's St. Thomas. As you guys know, our wind instruments have not worked in a very long time, but we just got this new wind point. <laughs> he always faces the wind. It's hilarious. We jive, we tack, whatever. He'll just like turn and face into it. So he is our new wind point. And he's brightly colored too. Back. We're coming into our anchorage here at Christmas Cove. Herbie's up at the bow with the anchor ready, and I'm just getting us as close in as possible here without being in danger of hitting any other boats. It's a very crowded anchorage. Uh, okay, drop! Whew, that was successful. We're now in Christmas Cove, anchored and happy. And now for the secret of what we keep inside our nav station. A whole lot of flags. Ah, new American flag because ours is getting quite ready. Our current U.S. flag has been about 6,000 miles. Uh, we replaced it last in Spain on Memorial Day, which was in May. So it's been a while and it's time for a new one. So we had this baby ready and waiting. Twenty twenty was a hard year. It's time for twenty twenty one. Pizza pie, pizza pie. This is wisdom. So there's a place.
place here called Pizza Pie, like the pie symbol in math, and it is a floating sailboat pizza restaurant. You just order your pizza over the radio, and then you go pick it up, and it's supposed to be really good. Going to get our pizza. We're sailing. It's quite a blustery day. Okay, so we ended up getting towed to shore because our outboard is just dead. The bank we want to build in Tesla cells would be like five grand. Thanks for watching this episode of Sailing Wisdom. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next Rigging Doctor episode. And if you're interested in even more Rigging Doctor awesomeness, consider becoming a patron to see all of our extras. Can't wait to see you next time as you join us out here on the high seas.